you very smart to be here today to educate members about the consequences. I wore blue today for Israel's color. <laughs> but I'm very aware of the BDS movement and I am alarmed at the potential consequences. The BDS movement, as you well know, is a very dangerous movement that is trying to st strangle Israel both politically, economically, uh, and we need all the support that, that we can accomplish. Uh, many states have, in fact, already uh, passed legislation fighting uh, uh, that anyone that's involved with BDS, they would not uh, have companies uh, participate uh, on the state level. For example, there's 30 Muslim Brotherhood Front organizations, right. and they're handing money out in Congress. The, the spillover of BDS and anti-Semitism on college campuses has really created a frightening situation. Mm -hmm people to look at it from the Palestinian perspective as well. It's not just for us Jews. Um, there are thousands and thousands, if not tens of thousands of Palestinians who are laid off of, of, jo of jobs, employment, because of these people who have a selfish interest. Companies close down, I'm sure people heard of SodaStream. Uh, you should announce to uh, universities and, and high schools, anyone getting fun funding from the state, that if you engage in anti-Semitism, which is racism, we're going to treat you as a racist and we're going to cut off funding for you. The BDS movement is scary when you're a family owned business and you have your wineries all over the world yeah. and when you have this hate emails coming about Israeli wines, Israeli foods, mm -hmm. and we are the largest importer of Israeli wines and foods. Into the Bridge Multicultural Project, which is the only center in this country that I know, which Jews and blacks and Muslims come together, do blood drives, do jazz festivals, do things, health initiatives, they come together and it's a way of bringing people together. Thank you. We could use you here in D.C. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can afford me, but... <laughs> I'm fully supportive of what we're trying to do here. Uh, thank you for the work you're doing, certainly. Yes. And can we get a copy of a list of who's pro and who signed up and who did sign up? Yeah. Anti-BDS law that required the federal government um, uh, to preclude any companies from getting government contracts or seeing federal dollars invested in those companies that participate in the BDS. Very few friends of the Jewish community can fit the level of kinship that Senator Hatch shares with our community. With that, I'd like to uh, ask Senator Hatch to address us. I'm very happy your this group is meeting together. I'm very happy about what you're meeting for. And uh, I intend to support you and help you in every way I possibly can. Everyone in this room asked me, are you sure Senator Cruz will be participating? Because we do see him on the program. So I can tell, I told everyone, God willing, you made me into a religious man, because I did pray for that. You know, when you do events, you have an anchor senator. You are our anchor senator. Thank you very, very much. I'd like for you to address us. Uh, BDS is on our minds. Uh, everyone here around the table traveled to uh, share their concerns, mm -hmm. to put it mildly, about how corrosive BDS can be. BDS is like a plague that is spreading, and, and it is part and parcel of a generalized acceptance in attacking Israel uh, and an anti-Semitism. If there's something you think that we can do as a community in the next few months to try to mitigate some of the concerns mm -hmm. that you raised or that we have, let us know and we'll try to do everything we can to mobilize people to help. Right. Senator Cardin understands the U.S.-Israel strategic relationship as no one else does. In fact, I believe you introduced the uh, anti-BDS legislation, which we're talking about, a major leader in that effort. Certainly, you, you, you are outspoken, and I would like for you to address us, and then uh, if you're kind enough, Certainly. we'll have We can do a more effective job on BDS. We have to get our strategy in order. We have to know, we have to have the legal answers to the questions that are going to be raised on the uh, authority to do some of the things we want to do. We have to explain it better that this is not a narrow issue. This really is a broader issue. We have to uh, disclose the fact that this is hidden efforts to 
to delegitimate Israel and to foster anti-Semitism. And we need to get a broader support group for, what, for the strategies we're using. And then lastly, we need leaders. You, you and Congress have to do a lot to convince the administration about the uh, uh, Muslim terrorism and that they have to, like you say, you have to speak about in, in the world forum. U.S.-Israeli relationship is probably the strongest relationship that exists in the world. And the reason that it's going to stay that way um, is in large measure because we understand our role. There should not be sanctions, there should not be repercussions and a boycott being initiated uh, against American businesses that are doing businesses there. Overwhelming majority of members of the House, uh, Republican and Democrat, uh, are willing to embrace and, and to be able to stand up uh, for Israel and, uh, frankly, for freedom for, for our country as well. As you said, if BDS was successful, you wouldn't even be able to have the drip system in your house. Exactly. So, so it, it's critical everywhere, yeah. but it, it's deeper because the idea of demonizing Israel as they have been attempting to do yeah. is one that goes to the heart of the ability to have freedom and democracy and anything else, and of course, in that part of the world, as you well know, Israel is the only beacon and yes. light of freedom and democracy. We have to continue to educate, raise awareness, um, rattle the saber, and, and underscore why the BDS movement is so sinister. Why it's not known to the anti-BDS uh, legislation is because we know that that is one of uh, the tactics that they're using on the Palestinian side and that they and that people are using around the country uh, and around the world to delegitimize the Jewish state and uh, and Israel has been such a strong ally. So We're gathered here because that movement is gaining currency in the political left and in the uh, centers of government and journalism and academics that it controls. Supported Israel not because it was the right thing to do, I've supported Israel because it's the only thing to do. And 